Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Texas Rangers and the Toronto Blue Jays. And now, first pitch Noel, coming at you right after the break. 22, Toronto Blue Jays. Just about set to go. Pitching in our game today, Jose Barrios. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Okay, all set to go. Now it's Marcus Simeon. The second baseman, Marcus Simeon. The pitch. On the ground. Chapman He's over out. to first in time. And Simeon is out. Batting second. The shortstop. Corey Seager. And here's Corey Seager to hit. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. The pitch. Rocketed out towards right center. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm that front third. side. The first and the hands three. just continue the to carry low. through low. the middle of the field. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. And a pitch. Hammered. And now maybe extra bases. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He will score and they take the lead. 1-0. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Back-to-back -back base hits. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. One down. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second here, one gone. That one ripped. This one's got a chance. Turning and looking and it's gone. He'll touch them all. And they add a pair. It's 3-0. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Here's Cole Calhoun. The right fielder. Barrios back to work. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. He made him pay for that one. And they add to the lead. It's 4-0. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. One out, base is empty. So next to hit for Texas, Adolis Garcia. The center fielder, Adolis And a foul Garcia. ball. The pitch. On a line, base hit. They are really feeding off each other. That's five hits in a row. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. 
and he met it out front for the line drive knock. So, man aboard, Brad Miller now. And here it comes. Swings through that one. Well, the Blue Jays have seemed to go all in on players with MLB dads. What about those advantages, guys that have been around the clubhouse a lot? They are not afraid. Being in an intense game, 40,000, 50,000 people screaming. That's like being in the backyard for these guys that have grown up with a big league dad coming to the ballpark all the time. So they're very comfortable in this environment. And that one is lifted in the air, and that is Springer. He's got it, and there's two away. Batting it. The left fielder, Nick. Bat at first. Solak. Here's Nick Solak. Well, at this pace, he's not going to be in this game for very long, but he's got to find a way to shake it off, keep it isolated to one inning, come back out. You could throw up a bunch of zeros and save that bullpen. And the righty deals. And makes the play, and that's out number three. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. And our pitcher tonight, John Gray. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. Bottom of the first. Leading Here's George Springer. Toronto. The Blue Jays the in striking fielder. distance, but Yo. have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And first offering is fouled off. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. The pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. And nice work to hold him to a single. Got it back in fast. Really nice job Batting of two second. strike hitting in that at bat. Shortstop. Anytime you rip a line oh. drive the other way, you feel this really yes. good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Line drive. Can't glove it cleanly. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. That is third. The first baseman. Vladimir leader. Guerrero Jr. now. This guy has turned into a beast. Now a blast to left center. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. goes deep. And they cut into the lead. It's 4-3. velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body gets through this pitch what conviction in that swing awesome job at the plate and now Teoscar Hernandez batting for the right fielder Teoscar that one links to center and a base hit Sheesh. Singy, that was a laser no shot. And a good thing we have stack cast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. Out towards right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Batting six. The third baseman, Matt. Here's Chapman. Matt Chapman. 
Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And a pitch. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. Matt Chapman bops one out of here. And they add a couple more. It's 5-4. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. So up next, Alejandro Kirk. And a pitch. Batting seven, the designated hitter. Alejandro. And first offering is fouled off. Well, clear game plan coming in this one. Be aggressive against this starter. Try to knock him out of this ball game, and it looks like they're on their way to doing that. Get into the bullpen a little bit early. Could be a great offensive day. 0-2 oh, as he waves oh, at that two. one. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch is popped up. Miller under it. Makes the grab, and there's two away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but Batting it's so hard to get on top of baseman, as a hitter. Kevin Biggio. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. The pitch. On the ground to the left, and that one finds its way through. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Nice job going the Batting opposite nine. way with it. Letting the, the ball travel and not Kenny. allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. Yes, it's so sir. frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Danny Jansen, the next to hit. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. And a foul ball. Here's a high chopper. Over to low. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Welcome back. Second inning set to go. Willie Calhoun Waiting stands in here. The designated hitter. Willie... And a pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Hernandez racing over to make the catch. The batter number two, second baseman, Marcus. Back to the top of the lineup. Here is Marcus Simeon. He's 0 for 1. And he deals. And fouled off. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Now this one is hammered way back there. On its way. And we are tied. Marcus Simeon goes deep, and we're level. It's 5 5. Well, you can see he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize the changeup earlier, but. He got the bat head to it, hooked it down the line, and was able to keep it fair for a long home run. Really impressive. Seeger stands in now. The wind of the pitch. 
Seeger. On the ground, right side. Biggio throws the first in time. And Seeger is set down. Now batter, the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Next to hit, Nathaniel Lowe. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. The right hander back to work. And a swing and a miss there. Rips one to right. And that is that. But a run scores in the inning as this solo home run ties things up. All even at five apiece. Bottom of the inning, and here is George Springer. Leading off for the game, the center fielder. The wide to kick the pitch. Springer. And first offering is fouled off. That takes care of Springer, and there's one down. Now batter, not shortstop. Whoa! Bo Bichette up to the dish. Singled and scored his first time. The pitch. Gets under and pops it up. Simeon makes the grab and that quickly two away that was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate had pretty good timing on it just got First underneath baseman. it a little bit and popped it up Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and here it comes there's a strike. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Two outs. Left field, way back there. And it's gone! homer and they jump ahead in the second it's six five singy the ball is jumping off his bat yes it is tons of loud contact man it's been impressive That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Now that the wind of the pitch. The right fielder. Teoscar. That one ripped. And Hernandez is out. And that'll do it. <laughs> Toronto picks up one on this homer. It's tightened up a bit. At 6-5 now. Leading off for Texas. The catcher, Mitch Garner. The wind of the pitch. Soft contact in the air. Guerrero makes the play. And there's one away. Now batter, right fielder, Paul Calhoun. The pitch. Way inside, gets out of the way. Well, I think this is an important inning on the mound for him in this game. He's got to find a way to settle things down and give some length in this start. Kicks and fires. And that one is lifted in the air. That's back there. 
and that one is gone. He circles the bases, and we are all tied up. It's 6-6. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. So it's all tied up thanks to the, the home bat. run. And the now the fielder. center fielder, Adolis, Adolis Garcia. Garcia. Bounce to third. Chapman over to pick it up. Sends it across the first, and Garcia is out. The third base Brad Miller. And now Brad Miller. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. Here the right hater back to work. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Bichette makes the catch, and that'll do it. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. And we're all even now at six apiece. Back now in Toronto. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Go one Toronto. swing's a lot easier than getting fielder. two or three hits Lourdes. to win this ball game. You better believe Lourdes. he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. And the pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Tough game for him so far, now Boog. Back. Another hit, and they've just been knocking him around back. through the first two plus. He's got to get things back on track. Maybe junk a pitch that isn't working, or he might not last much longer. And he deals. In the air, right side. And it jumps the wall in foul territory for an automatic double. The automatic double That's took that good. decision out of the hands of the third base coach, did it? I mean, was he planning to send him home? We don't know, maybe, but now he's preparing for a whole different situation with a pair of runners in scoring position. So now here's the DH. Alejandro Kirk. First offering way inside, almost got him. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. Righty delivers, popped up, and that's a foul ball. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Guriel at third. Chapman stands at second. No outs. Left field. And he beats it. He's safe. In comes the winning run. And they win it on a walk-off 7-6. These can be tough at bats when you know you've got to get the ball in the air. At worst-case scenario, that pitcher is going to try to tie you up, throw you up and in. But he did a good job pulling the hands through. Extension to put that ball deep enough out in the outfield to score that run and win this game. One run game here today. Your final score, seven to six. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.